good morning children today we will discuss about the chapter lens in the light it is defined as lens is a transparent refractive medium bounded by two curved surfaces which is generally spherical generally the lens has been divided mainly into two parts number 1 convex lens and number 2 concave lens this is the diagram of the convex lens or double convex lens and this is the diagram of the double concave lens Mainly we have to study about the double convex lens and double concave lens. But the, this is the simple definition of the convex lens. The lens which is thicker in the middle and thinner at the edges, known as convex lens. And concave lens, simple definition of the convex and concave lens. The lens which is thicker, thinner at the middle. the lens which is thinner in the middle and thicker at the edges that is known as concave lens although convex lens has been mainly three classes three types of the convex lens are there and concave lens also having three types double convex lens plano convex lens concave convex lens these are the three types of the convex lens similarly double concave lens plano concave lens and convex concave lens but mainly you have to study about the double convex and double concave lens now we will come to the next point sometimes question arises that why convex lens is called converging lens this is the answer of the question rays passing parallel to the principal axis after reflection through the lens they meet at a point in the convex lens this is why convex lens is called converging lens similarly why concave lens is called diverging lens this is the answer of the question you will follow the discussion minutely in the discussion there will be question also and the answer of the particular question also why concave lens is called diverging lens this is the answer of the question this is why rays passing parallel to the principal axis after refraction through the lens they diverge and this is why they don't meet at a point and this is why concave lens is called diverging lens principal axis optical center first focal point second focal point there are different terms which are frequently asked in the examination to define it you see these are the terms and position of the terms in the lens this is your convex lens this is your r1 refracting curved surfaces are two in the convex and this is your r1 first and r2 this is your optical center this is your first focal point this is your second focal point this is your first focal point in the concave and second focal point in the convex now see children this is your principal axis principal axis first focal point These are the terms. First focal point. This is your second focal point.
this is your optical center in both the lenses marking the optical center these are the terms which are generally asked in the examination children first of all you say that the principal axis what is principal axis you see in the diagram it is an imaginary line passing through the optical center and perpendicular to the axis of the lens vertical axis and this is your axis of the lens you see in the diagram axis of the lens broken line inside the lens that is known as axis of the lens in both the lenses you see in the diagram axis of the lens it is an imaginary line inside the lens passing through the optical center perpendicular to the principal axis this is the definition of the axis of the lens this is the line axis of the lens through which when the ray of light is falling over the lens after the axis of the lens deviation takes place into the ray of the light now you see that optical center whatever the lenses we are using practically they are very thin this is why this is the definition of the optical center you see in the diagram o point is the optical center optical center is a point inside the lens through which if the ray of light passes there will be no deviation into the path of the light now children you see here this is the first focal point and this is the second focal point first focal point i will define in electron in the diagram also you see in the diagram first of all you see the diagram for the first and second focal point for its clarification you see this is the convex lens this is the axis of the lens principal axis f1 and these are two rays from f1 let this is your r1 and this is your r2 reflected rays in the concave lens this is your principal axis the concave lens this is the axis of the lens for definition of see in the diagram so this is the definition of the first focal point you see in the diagram this is the first focal point in the convex lens and this is the first focal point in the concave lens the rays after reflection through the lens become parallel to the principal axis actually coming from a point on the principal axis or appear to come from a point on the principal axis known as first focal point of the lens you see in the diagram these are r1 and r2 in the convex and concave lens these are the two reflected rays parallel to the principal axis so this is the definition the rays after reflection become parallel to the principal axis actually coming from a point you see in the diagram in the convex lens the rays are coming from f1 this is why this is the first focal point of the convex lens and in the concave lens actually they are not coming they appear to come 
from F1. You have seen the diagram. This is due to construction of the lens. Reflection takes place in the different manner. This is due to the shape and size of the lens. So, in the concave lens, the rays, refracted rays, parallel to the principal axis, actually not coming from F1, but appearing to come from F1. This is why this is the first focal point of the concave lens and the first focal point of the convex lens. Children, sometimes question arises in the different way. There are two more terms, real and imaginary focal point. Convex lens having real focal point and concave lens having imaginary focal point. This is why the refracted rays actually come from the point but in the concave lens they appear to come. Sometimes question arises what is real and imaginary focal point or why convex lens having real focal point and concave lens having imaginary focal point. This is the answer that the rays passing the rays passing parallel to the principal axis after reflection through the lens in the convex lens they actually come from a point but in the concave lens they appear to come. This is why convex lens having real focal point and concave lens having imaginary focal point till then optical center. Optical center is a biologically defined optical center, principal axis, first focal point. Now the second focal point. In the convex and concave lens, you see in the diagram, this is your convex lens. Principal axis, better to draw the axis of the lens using the broken line because it is imaginary line, not real line. Principal axis also imaginary line. For our convenience, we draw it. Suppose that this is the second focal point. Suppose that this is your incident ray. I1, I2, 2 and this is your reflected ray R1 and R2. In the concave lens, this is your incident ray. After reflection, this is your reflected ray R1. Suppose that and this is suppose that R2, these reflected rays appear to come from this point. So this is the definition of the second focal point you see in the diagram. Rays passing parallel to the principal axis. Rays passing parallel to the principal axis like I1 and I2. After reflection through the lens, they actually meet at a point or appear to meet at a point on the principal axis that is known as second focal point. You see the diagram in the convex lens. Rays passing parallel to the principal axis after getting the reflection through the lens in the convex lens, they actually meeting at a point on the principal axis, and this is why convex lens having a real focal point, but in the concave lens, they are appearing to meet actually, they are not meeting. Now, children, second, different types of the question arises why a lens having two focal points. This is the answer of the question. A lens having two reflecting surfaces like R1 and R2. So rays can pass in the either directions, either in this way or in this way also. You see in the diagram, R1 and R2. So in the either directions, rays can pass. And this is why a, rays, a lens having two focal point. Now children, this is a small chapter. Diagram and definitions are given in the examination. Five, six diagrams are given, you see in the textbook and do the practice to complete the diagram. While an object is placing at the different positions behind 2F1, behind F1, at F1, between F1 and optical center, all diagrams, completed diagrams are given in the book. If you have any problem, you can raise your problem. I will clarify the problem. And next, we will discuss about the next topic.